Hello and welcome to this edition of Saturday Chat with me, Big Scott 35. Uh, I'll get some points that I want to get to today, uh, some topics on my mind, but uh, talk about the week there was. I uh, had uh, Carlos and Mike. We talked about the 2024 cards. Uh, Top's flagship came out. Very exciting. Um, I have not bought a box or anything. I told y'all I think I'm pretty much done with ripping. I've picked up this so much, so far. Um, and so far, I have paid well less than a box. I don't have an auto, but I do have some nice inserts. Uh, color. I uh, got more on the way. I'm waiting for more auctions and things like that. Uh, I have a plan that I'll go over on a later date uh, about how I'm going to do um, this season's cards. Uh, mainly the the bigger, uh, more base, not the higher end stuff. Uh, and I'll try to go after what I can. But I think I'm just going to pretty much stick with Pete right now and pick up some uh, other stuff. But I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, like I always do, get sidetracked. Uh, we also talked uh, um, a little bit about the new um, uh, shop that's op- or the new shop that has opened up with Jeff Wilson. Uh, just our thoughts on that. Uh, you know, I I don't think any of us are thinking it's being done right. But who are we? I mean, I hope it works for Jeff. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a card shop. Uh, as of right now, he's not doing anything earth shattering. So uh, good luck to him with this card shop. Uh, and uh, that, that's probably about it. We talked about a few other topics and things like that. Talk. I uh, had my dad with with him. I don't know what happened. I had it. I thought set up to be released uh, Monday morning at eight o'clock. It did not. I had to go in and redo that. I'm sure I did something wrong. Um, so it got released later in the day. Me and my dad like to do that on Sunday afternoon. You know, two o'clock. He comes home from church. Him and his wife have dinner, and it's just something to do. We were doing it on Monday and releasing it on Monday. Uh, it was just uh, tough on our schedules. Uh, and I'll talk more about my schedule here in a minute. Uh, but that that's what happened with that. Then uh, Wednesday uh, editions, I uh, got a PSA order back that I've been waiting 14 months for. Uh, just Gary Carter's, and, uh, and I, I showed you some um, other pickups that went with the 2024 Topps flagship. Uh, but, you know, about PSA, that's one of my topics. Um, but I, I'm going to save that to last because I'm going to have some show and tell. Um, first things first, uh, in my life, so at work, uh, my schedule is changing for a while. It's not going to be permanent, as I know of, but um, I'm going to first shift. I've been working second shift, so I didn't have to go to work till 3 in the evening uh, to 1130. So I'm excited to do this because uh, it lets me watch baseball and other stuff and participate more in the community. Um, if you see me on other channels, um, in the chats and stuff, I, I'm usually at work, uh, taking a break or just have a slow time and I'll hop on just to see what's going on. Uh, and, uh, this way I'll be more, you know, with the rest of the world, uh, schedule. Um, I know in this day we all work crazy shifts, but I'll, I'll be working seven to three thirty. Um, so what does that mean for me and my channel? Um, the only change I can see is going to be Sunday night. Uh, nine o'clock is just not, it's going to be too late for me. I'm not a young man anymore. Um, so I'm going to switch to seven. Um, that way I'm not, uh, me and Bowman 53 are not at the same time. Um, and, uh, you know, seven works a little bit better for me. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping my 
guests that are come on, it's not going to be too, too early. I know outside the Eastern time slot, and further you go West, uh, earlier in the day, that is. Uh, but, you know, like Joe and some other friends of mine that are friends of the channel, uh, they need to go to bed, too. So I, I'm hoping this will this will um, this will keep because we've had great, great interaction in the last, you know, six, seven weeks. It's been awesome. Um, I hope this doesn't interrupt that. Uh, so starting tomorrow night, I just found out Friday uh, that about this change. It, it, and now it is, it's a person is out short term, had to have surgery. We're busier, more on first shift than we are on second shift. So I'm just going to move until he comes back. Uh, but hopefully by the end of the year, it'll be a permanent change for me. Um, so it could be three weeks, I've been told. It could be six months. I don't know. Uh, but that that's the only change with my life and uh, work schedule. So I'm hoping, you know, that won't bother us much. Uh, actually, it's going to be a plus, I think, in the long run um, or in a short run, whatever it is. Uh, let's see. As you can see, I'll make it work, whatever schedule I have. Uh, the second thing that's on my mind, and I touched on it on, on Wednesday, and this term has been thrown around. We joke about the hobby's not dead or the hobby's dead or whatever. And I talked to some of my friends. Y'all know them, friends of the channel, Carlos, Ed, Dave, Mike, uh, other people that have other hobbies. I also heard this in my gaming world. I was watching somebody. They're saying their cons are kind of dying out, and they thought the rest of the hobbies were doing that. I can tell you that ours is not. Uh, with the sports cards, I do go to uh, game. They don't really have game ones near me, but toys, and there'll be a lot of game stuff there. Uh, there's always a lot of people there um, doing that. If there's a – you hear a dog, I, I'm sorry. Um, it's yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, and this is a new one. I haven't heard this bark in a while and, and forever. I have never heard it anyway. Get, get, gather my thoughts back, but I, I asked the question, is there such thing? Is that even happening? Okay. Say everybody from 2020 to 2021 that came into the hobby, leaves the hobby. I was here before then. I didn't even know the hobby died. Um, I was not big on the socials. I was not big on the internet until early 20 teens. Um, when I don't even know if it was that early, probably. 2014, 2015, you know, is when I found the YouTube and the community. Um, you know, I was kind of just doing my own thing. Um, I've said it before. I've not been around a lot of people in my adulthood that 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 collected. I didn't have any shows to to speak about. Uh, that I knew about the national, but it was the same week my family took family vacation, and I didn't really think of it as a a destination show until I moved out to the Midwest. Um, so I, I was kind of backwards in this world, but I've never thought of it dying. I think that's a personal thing. And I think it's, we project our personal feelings out, out to the out world, uh, you know, for whatever reason, I, somebody said that eBay was dying. We know that's not true. Um, I know other people are bidding against me. I know I've lost a lot of cards this week, and they're not going for cheap. Uh, cards that should not be going for that price. I know FOMO is a real thing. This guy doesn't have it. I got set prices. I will not. You know, I'll budge a little bit because um, I, I, you know, I'm not stupid either, but I'm not going to sit there and just fork over a ton of money just because I'm scared it's some colored variant. You know, it'll be there again. Um, 
this is a marathon. This is not a sprint. You have to remember that cards come back up. You just got to be patient. And remember, it is just a card. It's just a card. It's just the person's face on a picture. You know, if an autograph gets by me, I, you know, I try to pay as least as possible when it comes to some of this stuff. Um, you know, I'm not trying to be cheap or cheesy, but somebody else is going to pay it. They're, they're still getting their money. They're just not going to get it from me. Uh, and I can wait it out. I can wait it out. And I, and I have thoughts. I have what my thought of a price is. And I try to stick to that with, you know, proximity as best I can. But when it comes to the hobby dying, I don't even think that's a viable term. Um, it's a personal term. If the hobby dies to you, so be it. You know, don't trash it on the way out. Please sell your stuff or contact somebody to sell it for you to make sure it gets back in the real world of our hobby. Um, you know, and, and you know, I, I don't want people to leave. I, I, I think it's fun. The more, more people to marry you. Uh, I just think uh, people got in it in his last four years for different reasons. Um, boredom the fun, I think the age group of the 70s and 80s kids even, you know, are starting to get to that age where they have a little bit more income um, and, you know, trying to get their childhood back or memories and found out there's some money to be made also. And, and it's not easy anymore. You just can't. Boxes of cards are not cheap. Uh, and I'm going to talk about grading here in a couple of seconds, and that's not cheap. So you just can't buy a box, get some, uh, you know, Hall of Famers, veterans, and rookies graded and flip them and, and get your money back and make a few dollars to buy another card or, or just keep doing that for fun because it's fun into that. I can, can see where that's adrenaline rush and uh, more power. And those are the people that I get, get my stuff from. That's that's where I get this. Um, that's why I don't understand the sealed box concept. Uh, driving the prices up, it just makes the sealed box concept even greater. Um, and I don't understand that for a chance to get that one card. Well, it's a chance at X amount. That's where we're, we're equalizing it to gambling. And I know some people made that crossover, uh, but I, I'd rather there be betting on the median, not not on the very extreme high end. Let's let's bet on the extreme median. That's that's what's what's in the middle there. You know what's what's the uh, what's most likely going to be. And if you do hit the big card, congratulations. But I can't fault people either for getting the most out of their buck when they hang on to these boxes. But. I'm hoping we we gotten smarter as a community. The new people came in, learning curve with a lot of new people. Box prices have come down. Baseball's probably it looks like about thirty five dollars on the lower end stuff. More a box, uh, sixty on the jumbos to like Bowman being stupidly priced in some of like Topps Museum and those. The higher end stuff being dumb prices, uh, prism prices, or treasures, or whatever. I, uh, you know, I, I, Tops is crying. They have to pay for getting the autographs or whatever. I, hey, okay, whatever. Uh, but you know, be be smart when you're spending. I think we're doing better as a base. I see the baseball, football, basketball still needs. There's a learning curve still going on. Still that new flashy player. Um, I've noticed I've been looking at years in the past card. Boxes are starting to go down. You know, of course, like the 2018 with, uh, uh, you know, Otani or some of these other guys, those prices are still kind of high. But some other stuff has gone drastically down. Um some of these card, um, 
third parties are starting to sell, you know, put go back to where it used to be. You used to be able to pick up an old box for very cheap, you know, at least well less than the when it first came out. Uh, you know, the expectation of getting that card in that one pack is driving the prices and I don't I haven't understood that it I, I feel like I'm a logical person and, and it just hasn't I haven't grasped that so you know the 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 death of of the of the card I don't think the 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 card community and or the hobby is dead by any means I don't even know what that means if every card company stopped making cards tomorrow there'll still be a collector community. There'll still be cards. Uh, and there'll be a community out there doing it. And I'll be one of them. So I, I don't understand it. You know, and some of my friends will definitely know what I'm talking about. And if some of y'all don't know, you know, let me know. And, and I can understand, you know, I can't. I, I was gonna go somewhere, but I, I can't. Uh, so I don't. I don't. Under, I don't have. I have uh, I, somewhat of understanding, but for me, this has always, in some shape or form, been part of my life. Even if when I didn't have money, uh, buying a pack, whatever, uh, or you know, finding cards on the back of the craft macaroni and cheese, whatever I could. Uh, but. Now I'm going to get into grading. Um, talked about it Wednesday. PSA. I know why people are with them because they took over the grading market in, in the 2000s. Uh, and you can say all you want. It's because of the registry. Registry gets people to grade cards. And then once you get those cards graded, you are used to seeing PSA and, you know, PSA, your cards in PSA holders. You, a lot of people want to have all their cards in the same holders. Then you get, you like the registry. It's fun. A lot of people, oh, it's not about the registry. It's about resale. Well, the resale is driven because of the registry. It's not directly driven, but people like to, we're OCD, a lot of collectors. We like things to be uniform. Uh, I have none but PSA in that behind me because that's my, you know, 475 Peter Alonzo collection. Uh, 2019, I, you know, even I have it, but I do have great, all kinds of great companies. I'm, I'm not shy. I want the card. Uh, I'm just, uh, you know, just really not happy with PSA and it's not a grading thing. It's about pricing hundred percent. So I wanted to just talk about it. So for me with my Gary Carter's, right. And I'll talk about it here in a minute. The cheapest they have is bulk at $14.99, right? You have to pay their a hundred dollar, uh, you're going to have to pay a hundred dollar. You have to pay a hundred dollar fee to be in their club or whatever. And then you get $14.99 a card up and you have to have 20 cards. And that's for $200 or less, or you can do $500 or less cards for $18.99 and you have to have 20 cards. Um, and the other thing that really, um, bugs me is you have to break it up in different eras. So the, in those 20 cards, it can't be, you got to have one era of 20 cards and you got to have another era of 20 cards. Uh, it, it just, that just drives me crazy with that. And then on top of that, they charge you a $25, uh, shipping i think that's the least they do I, I don't know if it goes up more than that more people probably know more than me I, I don't do a lot of bulk myself i don't have that money i just can't do it um 
And when, if I find a person that's doing bulk, I don't think PSA is really giving people cut rates. So uh, I think like I looked at got baseball cards. I was thinking about going through them. Well, I think it's like $15.99 or $16.99 a card. And then I got to pay to ship it there and then pay for my shipping back. All that adds up, and it adds up really quick for cards I'm not selling. Cards that are in my, in my, for a registry, just to say I have this registry, to say I have more PSA cards than you graded. Uh, it's, uh, I, I, I was going to use a term, but I'm not going to use it. And then they do have a $24.99 value. And then for $39.99, you can get expedited turnaround in 20 business days, which is so you're going to hold your cards hostage. You could get 45 business days at $24.99 or 20 business days at $39.99. Uh, it's bullshit. Um, and then a $25 return, bullshit, because I don't pay that to ship it to you. I don't know why you got to pay that to get it shipped back to me. Um so I like to keep my bills around when I do this around a hundred bucks. So it's easy to get just round numbers, easy for me to figure. So I don't have to do the maths. Uh, so I, that's, I can only send three cards to keep it around a hundred dollars. It's not worth it for me. It is just not worth it. So thank you, PSA. I don't know if I, I am being, very personal on this. I don't know if other people are in my boat or not. And it doesn't matter. This is where I am at. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Now, um, I want to share this with y'all. If I can bring it up. And hopefully I'm not being too long winded. Uh, so... Let's see here. Yep. And let me do it this way so I get the screen as big as I can. Let me hide that little thing down here. So if we look at this, this will show you like, you know, I am fourth ranked in the master set. I am sixth ranked in super, another master set. Uh, that's tops. This is the overall set. Um, 10th in the basic set, uh, I have the Gary Carter basic top set 100% completed, and I'm ranked 16th. I knew that some of those cards are not very highly ranked, but almost all of them, uh, my, about half of them are from my original collection. Um, so I am really, really, you know, I was working on these, having fun. Um, I was really working on this master set, which would cover all the sets. Uh, that's why I was kind of doing four. Um, not ma uh, not that one. I was sixth in the master set because you need 509. I still need 312. Guess what? I have probably 80%, 90% of that 312. I don't have all the uh, more modern autographs, uh, I, but I have all the playing day cards out of that set. I have, I have a, a two row box full of cards that I wanted to send of my registry. And I would hammer this super set master set. Um, and like I said, Wednesday, if they had a nine, $10, wait a year registry special stop with the bullshit at, you know okay i'll separate them but charge me all the same I, I don't give a shit if it goes to two different places when it gets there and excuse my language but it's really upsetting to me because they don't they they've said we don't care and they might not have verbally said it um but they're saying it they are saying it right now that it's just the way it is and you know 
I'm ha- I've had so much fun doing this. It's helped me with my collection. Um, I, I'm just all I'm only thing I'm missing out of the super or master set, like I said, is a few of the modern signature cards. I have some of them, but I'm missing some as well. It's uh, and some are the low numbered modern cards as well. I have some cards that probably other people don't have, but you know, I don't know if it's worth me getting them graded. I, I showed you on that last grading, I had to send in cards from like the 2000s for the special that they had. It's bullshit. I'm sorry. It is. And I don't care that they're getting putting out a million cards or a month or whatever. You're in the business of taking care of your customers. And this is one customer you have not taken care of since COVID. You decided to poo-poo on what I do. Um, yes, I went looking for cards that I need for uh, the basic set and all these other ones. Um, and I can find them already graded. And I will probably purchase those for the registry. Take them out of my box that I don't need them get it graded. But, you know, the other thing is, is I shouldn't have to do that. I've said it before. I love getting my own cars graded. And I don't, when it comes to this, yes, I look for upgrades somewhere here or there. But I just, it's very upsetting to me. Um, And all of them have this dumb ass. It's almost like they're holding your cards hostage. We got them graded. And now you got to pay this crazy fee for me to, to, for us to send them back to you. And then they go, it's insurance. Well, I can tell you this. I talked to two now different people that run post offices and they said, you lose your cards. Good luck trying to get any type of insurance on them. Good luck. And, and, uh, yeah. Cause you got to prove how much they are. And if you don't have a receipt or, you know, we, you, you're not going to be able to go into the master general and go, Hey, here's the comps. <laughs> um, yeah. So just, just tell it, that's just some food for thought. That's why a lot of people wait for, for shows and things like that to take their, you know, cards to get great. And I understand that. Um, but you know, I, I wanted to show you this, uh, you know, I started a Johnny bench set and that's a they're tough cards. <laughs> Every time I find those graded, they're usually tens and nines and they want some big dollars for them. And I, and I just, I, I, I have them. I just need them graded. Uh, it's tough. It's, it's, it's a tough situation. Um, yeah, I, and I have had fun doing this, but PSA has decided, you know, four years ago, and I love it when they have these, these people have the man himself on their channel to talk to him. He's such a nice guy. He's a collector. Bullshit. He's in it to make money and they're making money hand over fist. And. I'm happy for them in this capitalism world, but they can make money off of $9, $10, along with making money on the other stuff. The flipper world. I, I it, It's very aggravating to me. And I, and I digress. I know I've talked way, way too much about this. A little rant, mini rant on this. Uh, but I, I just feel like as a collector, I feel like the grading culture has turned to flipper and culture world and really left us guys that collect. Because once they started, oh, that card is worth, you know, $7,000. So now you got to pay $75 to get it graded. I was like, I don't want to sell it. I, I want to keep it in my collection. So I got to pay $75 for you why is why why is that one 75 for you to grade 
but then I got to give you another car that's two dollars. Now you're going to charge me twenty five dollars to grade. You're doing the same service on each card. That that doesn't make any sense. When I go to the car wash, they don't take my little Mitsubishi and charge me $25. And the next guy has a Corvette and they're not going to charge him a thousand dollars to clean it. I, it. It's the stupidest. It's very, very dumb. And I just, it's, it's, it, 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 you can't explain to me why it makes sense. They could tell me it's for insurance. Well, that's what I'm paying a $25 hostage fee for you to send it back to me. I thought that's what it that was for. Um, it's, it's all confusing. Uh, not confusing. It's not confusing to me. I know why they're doing it. They're greedy bastards and that's it. But I will end it with that and I hope I haven't turn y'all off. Uh, I just wanted to explain some, uh, more about some of the things I was talking about Wednesday. Um, and this is what I'm doing now. So SGC is getting cards that might be sold or I am selling because um, those cards do sell. They do get some money off of them. It's For some reason, it's not the same as PSA, but at least they're respectable. Uh, and then even though you got to sit there and wait through all the dumbasses that will send you low ball uh, figures to because it's not PSA for whatever reason. Um, and then um, CSG for our CGC, whatever it's called now, uh, CGC for my non-sport because people buy that for non-sport. Very, they do sell. And also uh, stuff that's for my 100% PC. Um, I love CGC. They're my favorite company. Um, I think they're harsh graders, but honest and consistent, which are the two things I look for. And they have the best plastic in the company. Best looking. Flip. I, I just love everything about it. Um, CGC. It does it. I, it takes maybe six weeks to get them back. Uh, you know, I, I, I I like CGC, so uh, I'm not there. I'm not a fanboy or anything, but I, the reality is, to me and a lot of other people that I talk to, we don't know. You know, it's just they're not in the being sold right now, right? They're not out there. They're not the headliner grabbers at shows. Uh, you know, and SGC, everybody's like, oh, they, they need to sell a big car, you know, the million dollar cards. Well, they have, and people still don't buy their cards at PSA 10 price, whatever. Uh, which is fine by me because a lot of people just lower and low ball their prices to sell them and I'll, and I'll pick them up, whatever. I'll buy CGC for a lot less. I'm, I'm okay with that. Anyway, um, this week, like I said, Sunday night is going to be 7 o'clock. Uh, who knows? I might be still in the mood like I am now. Uh, talking about stuff I'm talking about. And just remember, man, keep on hobby in any way you want to. You know, uh, however you want to. Selling, buying, keeping, uh, flipping. I don't, I don't care. Boxing. I mean, you know, I, I don't agree with it, but, you know, people want to hold on to sealed boxes and more more power to you. Um, so that is it for me this week. And, uh, you know, I, I'm just hashtag watch the games, uh, keep collecting um, all the all the catchphrases. And uh, until next time, see ya.